We are here with Margaret Fontana, the executive director of the Garden State Film Festival. This is Margaret's first full year at the helm of the Garden State Film Festival as executive director. Please tell us, Margaret, how has this first year been for you? So far, it's been amazing. So last night we had our first um, Meet the Filmmakers opening night, which was really great. We had so many filmmakers come out from all over, um, including you know from England. So we're, we're so excited for tonight. Tonight is our uh, first opening gala cocktail party, and then we have a screening of Doe, which features award-winning actor Jonathan Price. So, so much happening. We have panels, workshops, 233 films all weekend long. It just doesn't stop. Now, Margaret, being the executive director sounds like a pretty heavy job. What's been the most stressful thing for you so far? Um, I wouldn't say anything is really stressful, because I feel like I love every part of this. So I think that this is like, you know, this isn't a job, this is like just fun. Um, I don't know, there's nothing really stressful about it. You seem to be handling it very well then. Yeah, well I'm, I'm trying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Margaret, if there's something about the Garden State Film Festival that people don't know, mm -hmm. or that you want them to know, what is that, what is that message? All right, well, I think the message for the Garden State Film Festival is the fact that we're really um, here as a platform for independent filmmakers and um, you know, I think that gets lost a lot of times with big film festivals. There's, there really isn't an opportunity for you to have access to celebrities, access to, um, you know, producers, writers. So this is really a forum where we provide all of that very organically. So I think, if anything, that's what I would say about what makes us very unique to the film festival circuit. And can you talk about the significance of the Garden State Film Festival being here in the Garden State in Atlantic yeah. City? Yeah, so we were in um, Asbury Park for quite some time, and then we moved to Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we moved to Atlantic City was because we actually were growing and evolving, so we needed a, um, a place where we could actually, you know, um, house this type of uh, event. So we needed bigger venues. We needed uh, bigger places for bigger parties. And so Atlantic City really suits us well right now because we're able to um, really provide all of those things. And we just didn't have that before. The infrastructure is here in Atlantic City. It isn't in, um, you know, different parts where we were previously. Let me ask you a question now, Margaret. So this is a, a, a worldwide festival. Films come in from all over the world to this festival, as you said. But to a New Jersey filmmaker, a filmmaker from the Garden State, mm -hmm. what is special about the Garden State Film Festival to a New Jersey filmmaker? Well, so, you know, Diane Raver, who's the founder of the film festival, she is New Jersey through and through. She's from Seagirt, New Jersey. She founded the film festival over 15 years ago with uh, Robert Pastorelli. And so they really um, built this. The foundation of this is to be true to the filmmaker in New Jersey. And so, you know, we've expanded from that, but we are very true to the roots. Um, we love everybody from Jersey. We welcome everybody with open arms. And that's really like who we are. And that's why it's so important. Jersey all the way. I think you said 200 plus films. How many of those are New Jersey based films, New Jersey filmmakers shot in New Jersey? We have a we have actually have a big uh, handful this year. I mean, exact numbers I don't have offhand, but it's a really large number. We have a lot of premieres, uh, a lot of New Jersey filmmaker with premieres happening this weekend. So, you know, this is the place to be for New Jersey filmmakers this weekend.